what are the transformations in informatica uses the cache aggregator joiner lookup and rank transformations require an index cache and data cache the sort transformation requires one cache so what are the transformations uses cache aggregator joiner lookup and rank and also sorted transformation where can we find the throughput option in informatica in workflow monitor we can find the throughput option by right clicking on session and pressing on get run properties under source and target statistics we can find this option and this workflow monitor is one of the window in informatica power center and like this we'll have another three also so if you go to this workflow monitor then you can find this option the next question is how many input parameters can have unconnected lookup an unconnected lookup can include numerous parameters no matter how many parameters are entered but return value will be always one which means you can send any number of input columns for unconnected lookup but the output column will be only one the next question is how to start a workflow using pm cmd so before that you have to know what is pm cmd command so pm cmd command is the command we can use in command line in unix or linux to call the or to start the workflow or to stop the workflow or to abort the workflow anything we can do with this command so the action you have to mention in the pm cmd command what action you want to do on that workflow so here you can see uh, the syntax is pm cmd space start workflow this is the action whatever the action you want to perform that one you have to mention here space uh, hyphen sv this is integration service name uh, so you have to give integration service name after hyphen sv space and then uh, space hyphen d d means domain name space you have to give domain name and hyphen u you have to give username there and hyphen p space password hyphen f space folder name and then space workflow name this is the syntax to start the workflow same thing you can do with uh, stop or uh, abort also but you have to mention action uh, instead of start workflow whatever the action you want to do uh, that one you have to mention there and this if suppose if you are working for uh, support informatica support or some testing testing side if you don't have an access for retail tools uh, like informatica or some um, talent and all if you don't have an access uh, then you can execute this pm cmd command from command line to start or stop the workflow uh, based on your ad hoc request okay so this is the important question um, for informatica interview uh, i got most of the times this uh, uh, this this question so be carefully go through this uh, syntax the next question is what is sql index an index is a schema object it is used by the server to speed up the retrieval of rows by using a pointer so internally SQL index uses the pointer concept and it can reduce disk input output by using a rapid path access method to locate data quickly. So I'll give one simple example for SQL index. Just like it is just like an index in your book. Suppose if you are documenting anything, you will create an index space, right? So there you can see the page numbers um, where we can see the content like suppose i want some concept to read 
so i'll just go to that index and i will see the page number and i'll directly go to that page number to see that concept to read that concept okay but we so what is the advantage there so we cannot go through all the book like where it's located that concept where they have written so no need to uh, search all uh, all pages i mean all pages in the book all uh, book same like that we have uh, in database also we have sql index concept so we'll create sql index on table so whenever you want to see any data like uh, re data retrieval process using select query that time it will help you to speed up the select queries but whenever we are uh, uh, we are creating the data like uh, inserts or updates having update statements we are do we are performing that time it will take um, some time i mean it is slows down your process it's better to not use the uh, whenever you are doing inserts or updates uh, more that time it's not better to use the index concept same like that you if you see in the book whenever you are uh, first time you are documenting you are writing that book that time you have to create the index page so all the concepts uh, you have to see where in the which page it's located and you need to give that page numbers you need to create the index page it will take some time same thing when you are adding any concept or adding any page you need to recreate the index uh, page numbers and all right so you need to update that the index same like that in in sql i mean in the database also if you are using the indexes if we have any inserting the data and updating the data is having that time rows i mean the row numbers will change right so the row count will change uh, everything again the indexes uh, we have to change internally database will change that so it will take some time so performance issues will come when we are we are having the data load like inserts or updates or more so in in SQ, um in sql we have index concept right so in informatica when you are using the index concept on table when we are loading any data if we wanna um, if we if we get any performance issues then we can uh, drop that indexes in the pre session command and we can recreate it after uh, uh, after completion of the mapping or session uh, in the post uh, session commands uh, we can uh, we can keep this uh, sql query for uh, recreating that and uh, when we have to use the indexes i already told whenever we have inserts or updates very frequently it's not recommended to use and uh, the table is uh, small that time we can uh, we can avoid because it's no use to you no use if uh, if we have a very small table because if we have book with the 10 pages and all it's not recommended right to it's it will not take more time to see where the concept has located same like that in table also we have very uh, uh, very less data or it's very small with uh, two to three columns it's better to note uh, uh, create the indexes and the columns are all are not often used as a condition in the query so in the query if we are not using any columns then it's it's better to avoid that yeah thank you